Hey everyone, Nate with Soda City Boards here. Today I'm going to go over one of my popular items that I make on my Exitool D1 10 watt laser engraver. And I will be going over some wooden keychains which are a big hit for me and my customers. And that I have been making quite a bit of in the past couple of weeks. I'm going to go over how I set it up in the Lightburn software and also my settings that I use and how I set up a jig with cardboard for the keychains to make everything easier and the process smoother for making these keychains. So next up I'm going to show you the Lightburn software and how I have a file created to make the jig for the keychains and show you the settings that I use during this process. So here is my Lightburn setup. As you can see I have the file open for the keychains here and I have created a cutout line to cut out onto the cardboard and the shape of the keychains so that I can set the keychains inside of it and have the perfect engraving every time in the same spot. Over here you'll see my cardboard settings for the cut. I do 900 millimeters per minute for the speed, 100% power and one pass. And then once I do the cardboard, I will show you how I do the logos on the wood keychains. So now our next step is to go back into Lightburn and set up our engraving files, which I've already done. And the bright blue color is what's gonna be engraved. And then for my fill settings i have it set to fill 6000 millimeters per minute 100 power one pass and i do a 0.08 line interval on these and now that it's all set up i'll be able to click start and the laser is going to start engraving the keychains So here are the finished keychains that we just ran through while doing this video and you can see that it's a nice deep dark engraving on them which turn out very great and customers absolutely love these and most of them give them out as a marketing tactic or something like that with them or just include them with orders sometimes if so much money is spent on the website. Another idea that I do is I normally engrave QR codes on the back if the customer wants double-sided so that way people can scan it with their phones if they see it and think it's cool and lead them right to their website or Facebook or anywhere that the customer wants. I get these off of Amazon for packs of 50 and I will include the links to the ones that I buy off of Amazon in the description below. And I started out selling them 50 for $50 for single side engraving and $75 for double side engraving. But I realized very quickly that that was a very, very low price and raised it to $65 for single side and $90 for double side. And I will be raising the price again in the future since they're, it's there to be made and people love them so they're willing to buy it. But I also had a different supplier at the beginning that was cheaper. But these are still the same quality and everything, so they're very great. Suppliers also carry oval and circle ones, which are awesome as well. Because with the circle ones, I do them with my logo since I have a circular logo. And I actually found a place to make circle QR codes. And that's what I engrave on the back of mine. And they work terrific. Um, I haven't had any of them not scan properly when lasered on and I will also add that as a link for the QR code makers that I use for the square and circle ones but other than that these are a very big hit with my customers and figured I would share with all of you guys out there and if you have any questions feel free to leave any comments and I'll definitely answer them.